Hi everyone, I wanted to make a really basic video about Twitter for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, a while back Alison was chatting with myself and Barb and was saying that she saw the same questions coming up again and again about how to use Twitter and I'm not talking about how to use it from a marketing point of view I'm or you know how to use it for your business, how to promote yourself. I'm talking about the very very basics of how to just get started, how to Twitter effectively. Uh, by that I mean how to retweet, send messages directly to people, how to know when people are messaging you directly. So all those sorts of things and also my sister has recently got on Twitter and she was asking me a few questions as well about the basics and I thought actually it isn't that easy if you haven't been shown how to get started. And I was lucky enough that when I started on Twitter, it was a, quite a while ago now, and Ed Dale took us onto Twitter. He was all fired up about this new thing called Twitter. And so he actually talked us through various things and, you know, showed us, and we all kind of learned together from that. So. I'm going to show you right from the beginning how to get started. Now I do have a Twitter account already but I'm going to create one especially for this and then get rid of it later. So click on the get started now. If you don't know already it's twitter.com that you need to go to. I'm going to create... Uh, yes that is my first and last name. I'm going to create a user account. So let's create imgeekgirl.com. Going to type in a password. <laughs> a weak password, but I okay, I'm gonna type in a proper password. Just because having made the video, somebody is gonna try and log in for me now, aren't they? Okay, that's a fairly good one. I'm gonna type in that one. Let's get rid of you. Um, you can choose whether you want email updates or not. Then you want to type in what you see on the screen. I hate these now. Is that a comma or is that just where it's been slashed through? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. This is the problem unfortunately with these. Some, some of these captures are just bizarre. Is it going to let me in? Yes, it allowed me in. So what you can actually do first is you can see if your friends are on Twitter by using your accounts here and basically what they'll do is they'll go into your Gmail account if you give them the if you allow them to or Yahoo wherever and they will search through the email addresses that you have in your saved uh, contacts details and it will search through for your friends. I'm going to skip that step partly because I don't really want you to see all that but also because sometimes I think it's easier just to do a search you can they, you can actually automatically start searching some of these people they think are worth following uh, I don't know I'm not sure I want to 10 Downing Street <laughs> um, Will Wheaton I am a bit of a sci-fi fan Britney the downside about following Britney Spears is actually it is mainly her staff who Twitter for her and uh, I think that kind of defeats the object. Let's just ignore that and click finish. Now that is our first screen. You are in, you are set up. My username here is I am Geek Girl. I have nobody following me. I have no followers. I have no updates. I will have this is the very basic screen you will first see and the whole point of Twitter and this is one thing that I really find hard to explain to people is exactly what it is a lot of people use it almost like instant messaging they use it to have conversations with other people and I'm not gonna say that that's right or that's wrong if you are on Twitter you have no other desire to you know it's not about keeping in touch with your business contacts it's not about promoting your business to others and using it as a, a customer service or a market understanding uh, tool then if you're on here and you're just here to keep track of your family and friends then 
by all means use it exactly how you want to don't let anybody tell you how to do it I personally don't think that's effective if you're there trying to promote yourself or your business but it shouldn't stop you doing it and I will be writing on the Secret Women's Business Network blog a little bit about some of the great stuff I've seen people using Twitter for or the ways in which they're using Twitter to promote themselves or just to keep in touch with people that I think have been very clever. But basically, Twitter is like blogging, but it's micro-blogging. It is 140 characters. So rather than constantly engaging in conversation, what they really are intending for you to do at Twitter is to simply answer the question, what are you doing? What are you doing right at this moment? Now that might be, it's probably not going to be that interesting if you're just saying, having a cup of tea and my breakfast. But if you're reading a really excellent website and you want to share it, then you put the details in. If you have picked something up off the news, or maybe, as is now the case on Twitter, you're in the middle of the news, uh, you are actually living it, and you want to share something about it, then you post it on Twitter. There's all sorts of things you can put on there. But essentially, it's blogging about what you are doing at that time and that place. So, at this time and this place, that's what I'm doing. So, click update, and there's my first post.